Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. <laughs> I hope that you have had a wonderful week. I have really missed you guys. Every night I think, okay, tomorrow I'm going to feel better and I'm going to make a video. And I even made one, I think Wednesday, and it was terrible. I couldn't even think. I think the cold medicine and everything just makes me just worse than usual. You know, it's hard for me to connect two thoughts anyway when I'm rambling. But, um, I was thinking today that um, I'm just going to do a few things because, as you can probably tell, I still am sick. I don't know. Like right now, I feel like I'm on the edge of a sneeze in my eyes and my voice is echoing in my ears. And I have been on, I have taken allergy medicine, I have taken Mucinex, I keep trying new things thinking I, something else will work. But Last night, Someone around here, I don't know where it was, was burning their leaves or something. I don't know what they were burning, but it was that thick smoke that just was so, it was almost sickening. And you know, it, my sinuses were just, it was just like burning so bad. And it got in our house when we were, you know, it was in the afternoon, we were letting cats in and out, Bridget was going out. And I whined about it all night and Brooke was like, mom. <laughs> You know, just kind of like, shut up. But, um, so anyway, I have gotten just, it's, I mean, I have gotten so many good things this week. I got two huge gift boxes from, one from Nadine, my friend that lives in New Jersey that um, I saw when I went to New York. You guys are used to me and Nadine sending stuff back and forth. And then one of my subscribers named Amber that has been watching me from Amber Lynn from the beginning, she sent me a huge box of goodies. And I had one of my subscribers, Adele, send me three pieces of clothing that she personally made. So I don't want to cheat that experience. You know what I mean? I want to show you everything that they sent me and I want to wear what she sent me. And I want to enjoy showing you those things because in these boxes of goodies that I've gotten are some really, really good things. And so I don't want to just be sitting here showing you everything. So since I look like warmed over, whatever, and I just don't feel good, I figure I would do just a quick visit and show you a few things that I got. And then I promise as soon as I can get it together and quit blowing my nose and open my eyes all the way. I'm gonna do just video, video, back to back because I have really missed it. And I ordered this. She had it on a few videos back and I ordered it probably, I don't know, not this past week, but the week before. This is her little postcard that she sends with it. And I'm not, I cannot remember what it's called. I think it's called, I didn't even save the receipt. It's the um, bracelet that she says looks like the Givenchy chain that is on some of their things. And it's a, a bracelet. And I just liked it. When she had it on, I thought, you know, I will like that to wear with, I have not taken this thing off. This is the bracelet that I got at Oliver. And it's like a rope design. And I just love the way it's bent to fit my arm. So I'm gonna wear these together a lot. And I just like the way that looks. And um, these I think are back in stock. They were out of stock forever. And um, so I got this bracelet to wear with it. And I haven't even worn it because I haven't been, I have been, the past two days I tried to dress up a little bit, but my heart wasn't in it. <laughs> it wasn't bracelet worthy. So I love that. It's a good weight and everything. Okay, then um, this is a dud I wanted to tell you about. I bought this, I went to Ulta to get this yesterday. I wanted something that I can, when I take out a piece of my hair to curl, I wanted something that I can spray on it to hold the curl and protect it that's not crispy because I have used that, um, that there's another one that I think Redken sells that works like that, but it makes your hair kind of crispy. I was looking for something that keeps it soft. So I bought this, which is hot off the press thermal protection hairspray, and it is terrible. I mean, I think my hair is let, I think it held less curl than it normally does. So I may even return that to Ulta and try something else. So if you guys know of anything that does that, even a good hairspray 
that I can spray on and because I'm what I'm trying not to do wine wine is I'm trying not to curl or turn my curling iron up too high I like to keep it at like 280 or 300 degrees and I'm trying not to turn it up if I were to turn it up to 350 or something it would probably curl a lot more and hold the curl but I'm trying not to do that so that was one thing that I got this week um, I got a package from Jenny Bird. She sent me a note and told me to pick out what I liked from her new collection, that she wanted to send me something. So what I chose is this set. You guys know I love stuff like this. And I love it. It's um, very light, and I love the shape of the links. I just got it yesterday, and I love the earrings. And so I could not, I wanted to wear this today. I couldn't resist. And then she sent me some other things that um, they picked out from me from, I think, last season. And um, Brooke and I went through these last night, and they are so pretty. Brooke said, her stuff is so New York. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. But this is one of them. It's one of her cuffs, and it has the best weight to it. It is so pretty. And her cuffs and Dean's cuffs, I love to wear in the summer especially when I'm going to like weddings or um, nights out to dinner their jewelry is just such a elegant statement piece that's so unique I know the women at the table aren't going to have something just like it on and um, I just love it so this is gosh I'm not sure of I'll put the name of everything down below and maybe even on the screen but I love that I mean look at the stone and I'm pretty sure that you can pick the stone that you have on it. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. And then this one, you guys know I love stuff like this because this is similar to the waterfall. This may be just like my waterfall bracelet. Yeah, I think I wanted, I think I had asked her if I could have two because I wanted matching. Sometimes I like to wear two bracelets like Wonder Woman. And so I'm not sure of the name of that, but I have another one that's like this. And then the river cuff is real similar. See how when you put it on, the chains, her designs are amazing. And you can squeeze it, and then the chains are in there. So unique. So pretty. And all of her things come in other, you know, like silver, brush gold, all different types of finishes. And then in real nice dust bags and... Um, boxes and I wanted to make sure I showed you these things because she gave us a code to use I put it down below and it's Lisa Lisa and I believe it is 15% off of everything and it's until April 8th they just say so this this is what I took out this morning and then there's two necklaces yeah this one is really cool you guys are gonna like it this is the piece that Brooke said um, was so, her stuff is so New York. <laughs> but here it is. Oh, somebody's walking their dog by. But look how pretty that is. I love, you guys know I love like that snake type chain. And then it's got um, the black and almost like a tiger's eye or wood type design in the middle. And I told her when I was thinking, her, I told her how much I love stuff like this, especially with just a simple black Target dress or black maxi dress. I mean, something like that just makes it. Or a white t-shirt and a little black. Um, okay, wait a minute. Where's the other one? Here it is. A little black um, blazer or something like that. Okay, yeah, I had another pair of earrings too. These are similar to the, um, the other ones that have the pearl on the back of it. I cannot remember what her name is. Margaret, I believe. But um, look at these earrings, they are so cool. You guys are gonna love these. Look at that. So when you put them on, they hang like a hoop and then they've got that silver ball. So they're the two-tone, which always, everything I say right now is echoing in my ear. So I hope I'm not talking real funny, but um, I love them. So they're gonna go and then you'll have a little ball in the back. How pretty are these gonna be with your hair up too? This, that's something I wanted to ask you real quick, too. Um, I think my bangs are just like growing out, growing out, so they're not wanting to go over to the side quite as pretty. Um, should I cut them, trim them again to just keep wearing them? 
like this or should I go ahead and let them grow out? Let me know what you think. <laughs> let me know what you think on that. That's what friends are for. Okay, and then this one. Yes, this is so cool. It was tangled when I got it, but I untangled it. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? I just love it. And then it has like the lariat hanging down. This with my sleeveless black blazer. That's what I'm looking forward to wearing this with. And then the ball like, you know, rotates in here on this chain. And then this you can adjust. So if you wanted to wear it down further like that, but it's like a lariat stuff. So cool. Her designs are very, very intricate. So thank you so much, Jenny. I just, I love Jenny and she knows it and I already thanked her. So I will put the code for those things down below and you will be seeing those things coming up in my videos, hopefully. I just wanna, I feel like, you know when you've been sick and you just can't wait to do all those things that you kind of took for granted? Even the taste of food. I just, I told you I was gonna be whiny today. Okay, um, my friend Denise sent me two packages today. One of them had this in it and it is the SK2 and it is the facial treatment mask and I have not worn it or done it yet because I want to savor it. And she said that this is, this has been her, let me see, is my card in here? Oh shoot, here it is. It says, um, this was from Bergdorf. Lisa, this is a 10 year favorite. Hope you like it, Denise. She said that she has not one age spot anywhere because she's been using that mask and, um, or not, and she doesn't have any wrinkles and you know, all that. She loves her skin and she thinks a lot of it is due to this. So I'm looking forward to trying it and reading all about it. Uh, made in Japan. Um, but I will put it down below and you can read all about it and then I will, re will review it after I do it because it's expensive. It's a special, special mask. So I want to do it like on a night before I do a video and stuff. And then she sent me this from, um, this was from Barney's. And it says, hi Lisa, listed as the perfect selfie must have. Enjoy, Denise. And this is from Shiseido. And it blurs, it's called the Ibuki Smart Filtering Smoother. And I meant to use this today and forgot about it. I, but um, anyway, this is a Shiseido Ibuki Smart Filtering Smoother. I told you that. And it's actually, I looked it up to kind of read about it and it's in there like skincare range. And um, it is supposed to like blur imperfections and fill in pores and all kinds of stuff like that. It's the most precious little bottle. And I believe the Ibuki is a whole skincare line. So I will give that a try and let you know what I think, but it gets good reviews, really good reviews. I can't, I think I read about it on the Ulta re website. I was surprised that Ulta had it, but then I remembered that they did get the Shiseido skincare. Okay, um, I've, had, I've got so much stuff here I want to show you, but I really am gonna wait until I feel a little bit better. And I hope those of you that sent me these things, I hope you don't mind, because I really want to be able to enjoy showing everything. So yesterday, I had to get out, I had to go to the post office, and um, what else? I wanted to go get a salad, but anyway, I thought to myself, I am gonna go out to the mall. I wanted to go to Dillard's for some reason. I know I can't remember. I know what it was. I wanted to go look at this eyeshadow palette at Dior and I ended up going out there. They had new lipsticks. They didn't have all the colors in. I got distracted and didn't even look at the eyeshadow palette I wanted to look at. And I thought, well, I'm gonna walk down to um, Sephora and they were supposed to get a whole lot of new things in, like new lines, get rid of some stuff and then bring some new stuff in. And so I went down there and Maya was working. And so I talked to her for a few minutes and she was walking around holding this brush. And uh, she was helping me with something. And um, she said, I've been so, I said, well, what have you been into? What have you been loving? And she said, I've been so into that Becca highlighter, the lavender one. And I, you know, I said, really? And she said, yes, it's beautiful. And she said, and this is my favorite brush. She said, I've been waiting till I get to work to use it. She said, because I love this brush so much. And um, she said, let me put it on you. Okay, and this is the Anastasia A23. I believe it's a highlighting brush. A23 face detail brush. 
So, and they just got the Anastasia stuff in. They have, you know, before that they had just had the brow stuff. So she took this and that Becca, um, it's, I think it's called Prism, Amethyst Prism maybe, highlighter and put it just right there, like strategically, like right there under my eye and right here. And then she kind of did a little bit up here, but it was beautiful. It was so brightening and it was, I mean, it was a little shimmery, but it wasn't lavender, lavender. And it just, it made my eyes kind of like have like a sparkly look. And I just fell in love with it. So I was like, okay, yeah, I want it. So of course I get the brush and she goes to get the highlighter and they're out of it. So I was like, okay, well that's fine. I still want the brush. Cause I was thinking I'll stop by Ulta and buy it there. Well, it's a Sephora exclusive. So I'm going to, either wait until they get it in, I think they get stock in on Mondays, or order it, because it was beautiful. I mean, it really was. And you know, I keep on saying I'm not a highlighter person, but I keep on getting them. But I do like just a little bit of brightness, like right there. It was just beautiful, it really was. So, and this brush is really nice. It's, um, it's just a different type of brush. It's, I don't even know how to describe the shape of it. I guess I will let you just see it. But um, one of the things that I took from, one of the many things I took from Nadine Baggett is she was saying, as you get older, you kind of want to scale down your big brushes. And I have noticed that. I kind of had noticed that before she said it, but when she said it, it you know, it kind of solidified it in my mind because I've noticed I can't use a great big brush for contour and bronzer as much anymore because it will kind of get down into where my face is kind of hollowing out, especially as I've lost a little bit of weight. It will kind of get caught right in there. So I've noticed that and I've noticed with my highlight, I like to kind of just put it right there. And so anyway, I really like this brush. I don't think it was crazy expensive. And it wasn't like a Wayne Goss or a, you know, La Mer brush, which I both love. But anyway, so I got that. And then I looked at all of the Bite Beauty lip liners because I would have to say lip liners are one of my favorite, favorite products. And, <laughs> and lipsticks, of course, and blush, everything. But um, there was one I wanted they were out of. And I was pretty, you know, set on that one. So I didn't get that one. And um, then when I went to Ulta, I ended up looking at the Buxom lip liners. And I'm typically not a fan of big fat lip liners, but I had looked at these at Sephora and at both places I kind of liked this color, which is Incognito. They have a good brush on the end and I know these things last forever because when I swatched them, it last, the swatch on my hand lasted forever. And so I want to swatch it for you. And I don't have this on today, but I have on something similar. I um, have on, I do, I have on a lipstick that Nadine sent me, and then I'm wearing the, I'll go ahead and show you this. I have on the Tatcha setting spray that Amber Lynn sent me, and it is glorious. It is the prettiest setting spray. Now, it is very luminous. After I get through, I go with the Charlotte Tilbury and reset like the center of my face, but this setting spray is gorgeous. I mean, it is, the mist itself is gorgeous. I still like the Alginist and the MAC, but this is different. This has kind of like, um, I think it might have some oils in it. It's Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, so it's totally different. I like this, like today I have on the Dior Nude. I like this when I'm wearing a matte foundation. And um, so I just love that. I had to dig into that and I'll tell you that today. And then I'm wearing a lipstick that Nadine sent me that is gorgeous. And I have come to the conclusion that Dior lipsticks are really, really one of my favorite lipsticks. And the name of this one is, two the number is 219 and the name is Rose Montaigne. And I have worn it, I think, for three days in a row. And Wednesday when I had it on, John looked over at me in the car and said, I like your lip. Your lips look good, baby. I like your lipstick. And he doesn't do that all the time. So that was a real big compliment. So I want to, um, I've got it on today. I want to show it to you how pretty it is on my crazy bony hands. But look how pretty it is. And 
the lipstick or lip liner that I have on, Erica from Hitchcock Madrona, sent me a um, text of this and asked me if I had it. And I have gone to, no exaggeration, probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably eight CVS's and Walgreens looking for it. I found one at a CVS and then I went to probably four more looking for some more to send in gift packages. But it is the Wet n Wild New Gel Liners and this color is called, oh no, did I throw away my box? But the color is called Bear something. It's the um, Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Bear to Comment. And so this is what I have on today with this. So you can see they're very similar, but the bear to comment is a little bit darker. So that's what I have on. But what I really like this lipstick with is my ideal. So I thought I would put a little bit of it on and show you the difference. I don't know if you guys can hear Bridget snoring. She's sitting in her little round bed and Sassy's sitting on a big box of, John got the soda stream and he loves it. He and Will love it and they had ordered some more CO2 and so Sassy's sitting on that big box of CO2. This is my favorite lip liner of all times. And so that gives you a little bit more definition. This is what I had on when John complimented me. He likes, he's old school like me, he likes a little bit more lip liner. So I don't know if that is it. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything really, really, really that I wanted to show you today. But I will be back. Hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow and be okay, back. So today I have on something really awesome. Earlier in the week, I had not seen Kelly from Oliver in a long time because I've been sick. And she texted me a picture of these jeans that she just got in. And they are, I haven't had a pair of J brand in forever. They're J brand and they are, oh goodness, I don't know where my tag is, but they're high rise. They are, and I don't, different than anything I have. I just love that distressing. I mean, they're different. They're, it's like they're really distressed or destroyed. Hey, Sassy, you gonna come see mama? You gonna come see mama? Hey, hey, pretty girl. Hey, hey. <laughs> she is so sweet, it's unbelievable. And, um, but I love, when I went to try them on, I just love that they were, they fit me so well. And they, I love the cropped. And I just thought they, I don't know, I just thought they were different. So, and I love that I can wear um, like pretty shoes with them that really show. And they're kind of stretchy. And I bought them a little bit big. She wanted me to get a size down. These are the 29s. They run kind of, you know, well, I would normally wear a 27 if something runs big. I'm normally a 28, so I could have worn the 28, but I just love, you know, guys know I don't like tight stuff. So anyway, here they are. I love um, the waist. They, it just comes up to the perfect height, and I love them. And for accessories, you guys know I have on my Jenny Bird that I just got that I think is so pretty. You guys know I like stuff like that. And um, my nails, I just had them do bubble bath. I wanted just a neutral and I've got several new nail polishes that I want to paint my nails. I just haven't felt like it. But anyway, did I tell you um, ring that my parents gave me Jenny Bird? My ears are just echoing like crazy and um, no fragrance. I still have that smoke smell in my nose. And, um, oh, and you guys recognize my top. It's the one that I got from Banana Republic. And I don't think they sell this exact one anymore, but um, they have some other ones that are kind of like it. I'll link below. So anyway, I'm so sorry this is gonna be scattered and whiny and everything. And thank you guys so much for your well wishes, for checking on me. I've had so many people check on me and ask me how I'm feeling. 
and for being you, I mean, just for being there. No, I, it's so wonderful knowing somebody cares, somebody misses me, and that you're there for me when I am ready to come back and talk about all this stuff. So have a wonderful weekend, and I hope I get to see you soon, and bye-bye. Um, <laughs>